Hi, it's me again with Corel Draws Tips and Tricks, and this is the second installment of making this cross. And this particular video is just really to show you how to make your job run faster. Not really make the laser run faster, because you can't really change that without decreasing the speed and the power. But I'm going to show you just a minute little uh, deal that a lot of people don't think about that can save you a little time. As you can see, I've got all these crosses set up and they're exactly the same top to bottom, left to right, or not left to right. I don't really care about that, but we're going to get rid of these indexing lines. Now I've got these indexing lines set up because this is the size of my sheet of wood. I use uh, the eighth inch red alder from Laser Bits. It's a really good product. It cuts really good, it's good for name tags and ornamental crosses like this for this graduation deal. But I'm going to, let's delete all these other ones. And we're going to control D. We're going to make a copy. We're going to rotate this 180 degrees. I'm going to set my nudge factor. Well, let's set on 1.5. That'll be good. And I'm going to move this cross out of the way till it doesn't touch. Now I'm going to control D. And I'm going to move these out of the way till they don't touch. Control D, 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 D. You can actually go off the page, but then you can break these, cut these two. So I'm going to get 15 crosses out of this sheet. Now, as you can see, they're all equal. Now, I actually went out and, and ran this job this morning, and it took uh, 9 minutes and 26 seconds. Okay. And then I just took these and just randomly, you know, duplicated them and, and made them fit. And they're really, really close. Let's just move these up a little bit. But you can kind of tell, well, maybe you can or you can't, how this cross is lower than this cross. And we're just talking about a a minute little deal but this wording is is higher than this wording so I just changed a couple of them and mainly changed the one on the end now with just that little bit of change you know and and not duplicate them correctly see how this one's higher than the the other one I ran this job but I didn't run it the my new fusion tells you how long the job's gonna run and I didn't want to run this job. And two, you're not, you know, you're closer to your borders on some of the wood than you are with the other. But this job took 10 minutes and 26 seconds. It took a full minute more than this one. Now that's not a, you know, one minute. Some people are going to say big deal. Well, for me this morning, it was three minutes because I had to run this three times. And it also ran surprisingly quick. And I was able to do some other drawing while I was waiting for it to run. But if you had hundreds of these to do, you know, let's say you had 450 of these to do, you know, times a minute. Um, let's say that's, uh, well, let's just say you had 150. That's 10 sheets. That's 10 minutes. You know, that's one full sheet run that you save just by making them all equal. And if you, know, if you don't really understand that the laser, you know, prints like a dot matrix printer in, let's go back to the one that's not right. This one's a little lower. So it's going to print that bottom of the 16 and then go over here and not, and miss this one. It's going to miss this one until it gets up to that 16. And then when this is through, this one still has to run just a little bit to, to take off the top of the L and the F. So there's the difference in one minute. Visually, you can't really even tell it. So that's why you need to make your duplicates equal. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.